We are looking ahead to some great films tonight. Well, one film that opened this week that we couldn't let slip by is Twilight. And this is based on a book by Stephanie Meyer, which has been incredibly popular with young people. And they're queuing around the block in America and here to see it. David, what did you think Look, about this? I think this is fascinating because it's a vampire movie. And, and the vampire movie is, is the most interesting of all the horror genres. I mean, when you think about it, back at the beginning when the first movie vampires were, vampires were appeared in films like Nosferatu or when Lon Chaney did London After Midnight, the vampires were hideous ugly characters, threatening, there, them, yes. evil characters, and they looked awful, Bela Lugosi in, in Dracula. Um, but then later on when we get to the 50s and Christopher Lee plays Dracula, and then later Frank Langella plays Dracula, they're handsome and sexy. I mean, uh, there was a bit of a throwback when Gary Oldman played him in Coppola's film because he was pretty hideous too. But, but this film taps in on the idea of the sexy vampire, the young, teenage, sexy vampire. And uh, it's, it's totally fascinating, isn't it? Well, it's interesting that of the two films of the last couple of decades, say, mm. about vampires that have really made an impression on me, both have been directed by women. Mm. Uh, there's this one by Catherine Hardwick mm -hmm. and Catherine Bigelow's Near Dark, which yeah. I thought was an absolutely fantastic film. And I wonder whether it's women who see this the romance of this, well, who are able to go for the romance rather than the horror. Yeah, this is much more romantic than Re Re Near Dark, though. I mean, this is, a, this is a very romantic film and a very elegant film. I think this film is probably successful because it taps into this idea of teen... I mean, the heroine is played by Kristen Stewart is 17 years yes. old and and she knows that this guy she knows he's a vampire so she knows he's unsuitable for her isn't isn't this the sort of very typical teenage girl fantasy well, of, of do going teenage out teenage girls want to embrace sex and death because it seems to well, me that but, if you're but, in love with a vampire <laughs> but embracing the go on the dark side you know that that's the, well, the interesting element well it is it and it's this tremendously ro romantic notion that you would do anything for love. Yeah. And basically that's what that's right. you know, you this would, film you would is about. You would sacrifice your life. For but it. it's actually very well done, mm. isn't it? Yeah. It's and I thought Robert well. Pattinson is beautiful and charismatic as Edward the Vampire. Yeah. And he, of course, was in Harry Potter in the Harry Potter films yeah. and, uh, in, in, in the, a minor role, but still quite significant. But he's a good vampire. He only eats animals unless <laughs> otherwise tempted. What's your well, score? That, that's right. Look, I, I think it's a bit long, the film, but I'm going to give it three and a half. I'm giving it four. Mm. Action. <laughs> Beautiful. Very visually dynamic. It's too bad he didn't have the strength to turn you. Instead, he kept you this fragile little human. Tell him! To avenge you! Tell him! Tell him! Twilight is currently screening every following program.